love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you, oh my soul, rejoice, take joy, my King, in what you give. May it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ears. Greetings, my dear brothers and sisters. I trust you are doing well. Praise be to God. Say it with me. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Yay, I'm glad. I hope you are too. I am grateful for every single day. I know you hear me say that a lot. It is true. It is from my heart. I am very grateful. Glory be to God for another day. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. All right. The photo behind me is of Jesus looking over Jerusalem. Can you see that? Yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful image. And I actually have a um, framed photo of a copy of this. And I think I got it about almost 30 years ago. Um, it's called Jesus Jerusalem, something like that, where Jesus is just overlooking Jerusalem. Beautiful, beautiful. And yes, Jesus loves us, doesn't he? Jesus loves you. Thank you, Father. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into Sarah Young's Jesus Always. I'll be reading from page 213. You have received new birth into a living hope through my resurrection from the dead. I died on the cross to pay the penalty of the sins of all my followers. However, if I had remained dead, your faith would be useless and you would forever be spiritually dead, still guilty of all your sins. Of course, it was impossible for my death to be permanent because I am God. As I stated clearly to those who questioned me, I am and my father are one. My resurrection is extremely well-documented history fact. This miraculous event opened the way for you to experience new birth by confessing your sins and trusting me as your savior. You have become one of my own, walking along a path to heaven. Because I am your living savior, you walk along a way of living hope. The light of my loving presence shines upon you always, even in your darkest, most difficult moments. Look to me, beloved. Let my brilliant love light pierce the darkness and fill your heart with joy. Praise God. Oh, praise God, praise God. I receive that. Amen, amen, amen. Do you receive that? I do. I do. No matter what we're going through, we can still be filled with joy. Jesus's joy, God's joy. Glory be to God. All right. And the scripture references are from 1 Peter 1.3, 1 Corinthians 5.17 from NLT, and Ephesians 2.1 and John 10 from NKJV. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being you, the great you. King of kings, Lord of lords, our Jehovah, our Jehovah, Jireh, our Jehovah, Rapha. You are just Jehovah of everything. You are Jehovah. You've got so many titles because you are so great, God. Thank you for blessing us with Jesus, a human flesh, your son, but also you. Thank you so much for all that you have done and all that you have shown us of how and who and what to do, Lord, because we do live on this earth aimlessly without you. We just, we just got no direction without you. We need you. We need you to guide us. We need you to direct us. You, we need you to lead us. We need you to be in us and doing everything in us. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. We love you so much, Father. So, so much. We ask of all these things in your amazing son's name. Jesus. Amen. Amen and amen. Until tomorrow. Prazafit.